Hi, and welcome back to the second part of this Panama trip we're doing. So the second part sees us going to Las Lajas. Now, originally we was gonna go from, straight from Coronado to Boquete. Now, the only problem, the only way to get there really by bus, and they told us around seven hours, so I didn't really fancy that. Because I, I had heard a lot of the bus was very small and kind of cramped and uh, that didn't sound too good. So. So yeah, that was the only reason we put it in Las Lojas. It's only for one night, just to break that long trip up, that's all. So, to start with, we leave Coronado on a really nice bus. Very spacious, AC, very cool, nice. And the driver drove it like an absolute crazy man, which I thought was kind of exciting. I don't think my wife would agree though, she was kind of nervous. Anyway, that took us to Santiago, which is a really big bus terminal like a bus depot kind of thing. And of course we get there, that bus terminates. Then we got the problem, we got to find where's the other bus going to take us to Las Lajas. And we have no idea, we can't speak Spanish. And uh, I say thank God for the Google Translate because um, you know, you got the ability can type in and it can actually speak what you're, what you're typing. So I put it up to the driver's ear. It's oh, not no problem. And uh, it didn't just say it's over there. He actually started the bus up and took us right around the terminal and dropped us off right at the little bus that was taking us there. And I thought that was good of him, you know, because he didn't have to do that. So that was nice. And that's a good example of what the Panamanian people are like. I mean, very, very nice people. And they, they seem very eager to please. And not only that, they actually took the luggage, our luggage, two cases off the bus and personally put it on the other bus. And I mean, it was just nice, you know, it was very nice to see that. So anyway, we're on this little bus. That wasn't so comfortable, believe me. I mean, I'm a fairly big guy and I got fairly small seats. I mean, they're not built for people like me at all. So I'm at, for two and a half hours, I'm hanging off like that on this bus. And it was absolute agony. I thought, oh my God, I want to get off here so bad. And it's going to all these country roads, the twisty lanes. Anyway, we finally get to a place called San Felix. And the driver said, okay, this is it. You'll get a taxi now one mile down the road, last last. And that's what we did. I mean, we ended up there. It was really good, a fun experience. Sold out of them. We're in Las Lajas at the Magic Mountain Lodge, which was absolutely fantastic. I, if you ever get the chance, stay there. It's a wonderful German couple own it. Brilliant. Now, as before, what we experienced in Coronado, very little was open. And this was a very small place, actually. So there wasn't much to choose to do, you know, a few little corner store kind of things. Uh, there was one one place on the seafront, the beach, they did great fish and chips. That was about it, really. I say lots of business gone out to businesses and they're done. But we was only staying over there one night. As I said, just a short stop off to stay as going to Boquete the whole, the whole time, seven hours, too much. So anyway, without further ado, here we go, enjoy. Okay, so enjoy, we have a few videos, a few uh, photos of Las Lajas, Panama. See you later. Oh, and before I forget, I did write a book, actually about this trip, 10 days in Panama. And it's not meant to be any kind of tourist information or travel guide, it's purely and simply a journal of our 10 days, but I mean, it really tells you how it is there, you know? So if you're interested, it's available on Amazon and Kindle and paperback. Thank you.